Hi, and welcome to another training video from PrestaTraining.com. In this video, we're going to learn about the Mail Alerts module. The Mail Alerts module can be found in the back office by going to Modules and scrolling down to Tools, and here you'll find the Mail Alerts modules. Now, this is a new installation for me, so right now it's not installed. So we'll go ahead and just click on the Install button and it says it was successfully installed. We need to scroll down again and get to back to Tools, Mail Alerts, and now we want to configure this. Now there's two areas of the Mail Alerts modules. One area deals with customer notifications and the other area deals with merchant notifications, which is you. So we're going to talk about the customer notifications first. What you can do with the customer notification is actually give your customer a notification if the uh, out-of-stock item comes back into stock. So for instance, let's say you have a widget on your site and some one customer bought the last one, but you've since restocked and there's been some demand uh, for this particular widget. Well, customers actually have an opportunity with this module to give you their email address so when you do get back in stock they get an email from the back office that says hey Mr. Customer or Mrs. Customer we have products in stock again come buy our product so it's actually pretty cool it's very handy and I uh, would highly recommend you doing it if you have the type of store that has inventory that comes and goes and and there's a high demand for your inventory you just want people to be able to buy stuff when they can so in order to demonstrate this uh, I'm gonna act actually create a test product and then I'll show you what happens on the front office side. Let's go to uh, Catalog and let's create a new product just in the featured area. We'll make this very simple. Call it a test product. I'm not going to worry about a description or anything, but I do need to... Um, don't even think I really need to give it a price but I will anyway. And then quantity, we want to make zero for this test product. I'm not going to fill out a description or anything else like that. I'll just save it. Scroll down, and here we have our test product. Okay, so let's go to the front office and refresh our screen scroll down and here's our test product okay so let's click on this like we're gonna buy it now what you'll see is up here this is an area where you can actually be notified as a customer when the product becomes available so I just want to click on this I want to show you what happens if you click on this and you don't enter a valid email address so I click on it and it gives you a warning that your email address is invalid so let's go ahead and put in a, a real email address Now we'll try it. And it says request notification registered. So when this particular product gets back in stock, this particular email address that we just filled out here will get an email that says the product is back in stock. Okay, let's go back to the back office again and test this out. I'm going to open up the test product and change quantity available to 1, changes to 10 or 1,000 or whatever it is, and then save it again. Okay, update successful. Should see a quantity down here, 1, there we go. Let's go back to the front office. Okay, let's go over to our email program. And actually, just as I clicked over to the email program, the email came in. So as you can see right here, we have an email from Presta Training Demo 1360, product available. Let's open this up. All right, so it says, test is now available, and test is the name of the product. And you can actually change this wording in a different part of Presta Shop. It says you can access the product page by clicking here. Let's go ahead and try that. Alright, so it took us to the page for our test product called Test, 
and it says one item is in stock and it gives the warning of last item in stock so this allows that customer to purchase that item if they happen to follow through with clicking on that link so that's pretty awesome that gives you as many opportunities as possible to get your products in front of your customers and get them sold let's go back to the back office and look at the other section of the mail alerts module which is for the store notification go back down to tools mail alerts configure and uh, when I said store notifications I really meant merchant notifications it's just kind of the same thing to me so in this section you have the ability to choose a couple different things first you can choose whether or not you want to be notified if there's a new order that comes in now depending on how many orders you get a day like if you get one or two you probably def probably want to be notified if you get a new order so you can react to the order quickly but if you get a hundred or a thousand orders a day you may not uh, care one way or the other because you've got somebody monitoring your store all the time and they don't need to be not notified they just they'll see it come in because they're checking regularly but for me because uh, my my traffic is pretty light for right now I typically have this checked so I get a notification if a new order is made the second part is to get a notification if you're out of stock and uh, that's a very good notification to have assuming that you do have stock that needs to be restocked and so maybe it takes a day or a week or who knows but there's an alert threshold that you can set here like for instance if you have an item that takes a week to replace and you sell a couple of them a week um, you might want to be notified at an alert threshold of three or four or six or something that will give you enough lead time to get these additional products back into your shelves so you, you most of the time would want to be notified if items are going to run out of stock and then it's just, an, just a matter of setting the correct alert threshold and you might have to experiment with that so in this particular case this merchant is going to be notified anytime a new order is made and then also when the stock of the item gets down to three items and this area here you just put in the email address that you want the notification sent to and you can put one email address per line meaning you can have multiple email addresses that get notified and if you've made any changes just go ahead and uh, save in both areas and I didn't make any changes so I'm not going to bother saving but uh, that's essentially all there is to the mail alerts module thanks for watching another prestatraining.com video look forward to seeing you in the next one